Okay, well, <laughs> after last time's unfortunate death and uh, a bit of uh, doing, I actually got all the stuff I needed. I found some spider's eye in my inventory, got the water jar, the bucket of water. Unfortunately, I only had two zombie brains. I have no idea why I only had two left. But I did manage to get Cognito, Examinus, and Census melted down in my uh, Alembics down there. Got a full jar of each of them. And I have all this stuff. Now, I can make two of them, so I think I am actually going to make two of these jars. Mm. And hopefully, none of this falls down. Uh, anything? Uh... So it's pulling away on that, the census, the examinus, and it should be grabbing the cognito. Oop, something just fell off. Bop. You aren't getting me that easy. Haha, -ha. I saw that. It knocked off the eyeball. Uh, anything? There we go. Brain in a jar. Haha. Ha. Now the brain in a jar is a nice little item. Uh, I do need to grab this bucket of water. I think I'm going to make another one real quick. But yeah, the brain in a jar is a nice item. You can put it down next to a uh, a mob farm like what I have up there. And it will automatically gather any of the uh, experience that drops. So I need to put this back down. In the center, a bucket of water here, the brain, and two spider's eye. Brain, spider eye one, and spider eye two. And let's get going again one more time. Haha! -ha. There we go. Should have enough in here. 44, 40, 50. Yep, should have plenty in there. And as long as none of this stuff gets lost, I should be fine. But uh, I don't know if it's changed since last time I did this, but the last time I was actually using Thalmcraft and uh, using these brains in a jar, they had a limit of 30 experience levels before they got full. So that's why I want to have a backup, just in case uh, it get, fills up too fast. That way I'll have 60 levels worth of experience of storage. So let me put this down. I think I can just stick it right here. Stick one right here. And... Die. Um, die. Come on. And die. Die. There we go. And these should pick up all the experience that these guys drop. Die. 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 And all I have to do is come back and left and right click on them. And I can just gather up the experience that they've gathered. See? Just have to right click and any experience that these jars have picked up will automatically be stored within them, and I can just right-click and get all that experience out of there. Ah, gotta love these little things. Now the only problem is, all the stuff that these uh, mobs are dropping is just kind of falling right here. Uh, I probably should do something about that. In fact, I could build another golem to gather up all of this stuff, or I could just have a hopper instead of this block right here, just put a hopper right here and have it all going into a chest that I can pick up later. But I think I'll save that for uh, some other time. I might do that off camera since it's uh, just me building another golem and I've already done that. And I do need to kind of fence off this area to keep my golem from wandering away. Because I don't want him... Uh, wandering off and getting stuck, especially down in this hole. There's a massive cavern under here. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. Okay, this fence should keep him from wandering off. It, ooh, uh, 
he die? No. <laughs> he can take a pounding. 40 HP, and he can take a creeper blast straight to the face. Very nice. Uh, though he, I don't think he'd be able to take more than one at a time. Though he does regenerate fairly fast. So, I'm just going to leave this guy here and uh, let him get back to what he's doing and come back in a while once uh, once those jars have filled up a little bit so I can get the experience out of them. So, what else is it I want to do right now? Um, well, I have done a bit more research from uh, Thomcraft. I could do some more stuff here. I did do uh, get, unlock this with the a brain in a jar, which basically allows you to in, use the infusion altar to enchant items. And it has all the basic enchants. You can just use Viz and uh, Essentia to actually enchant items. So that might be something worth looking into at some point. But again, you're going to need experience levels to do it. Not nearly as much as you would if you were just plainly enchanting it on an enchanting table. But you can re-enchant stuff that already has enchants on it. It does increase the amount of uh, experience levels and essentia and stuff you need, but it is something you can do. So what else if I... Uh, I think I might do that at some point, but not right now. Because uh, I do need experience. Now something else I unlocked was the Infernal Furnace, which is a multi-block structure. A... Uh, um, uh, it's, it's basically a large 3x3x3 three by three by three furnace and you can uh, use it to uh, smelt down ores and other stuff like that and if you feed it raw ignis essentia in jars it speeds it up and you have to drop the items from above into the top of it. Now I've never actually made one of these before so I think I might actually do that. I just need some obsidian, some nether brick, and iron bars. That's all I need to make it. So let's, uh, I think I should have all the materials I need actually. If I have the uh, nether brick. Nether... Yeah, I've got 60 nether brick. Just need some obsidian. Obsidian? Uh, yep, I got obsidian. Let me uh, dump this in there. Dump that and that and that. And that. And now I just need some iron bars. One iron bar, I think it was. So, let's take a look at this and see exactly what the configuration is. So, a cross of obsidian with that in the middle. I think I'm going to put it over here. About right here, maybe. Uh, wait, let me uh, make sure it's all in one chunk. Okay, there's the line, so building about right here. Uh, there. Just need to break that. Now, I do want to make sure I have... Oop. Uh, damn it. Access to the front and to the back of it. So there and there, 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 he, oop, uh, here, and uh, here, front there, and what's the corners? Ah, it's just that all the way up. So just the same pattern all the way up, just like this. There, 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 and the one over the bars is another obsidian. Okay, one more obsidian. So now I just need a bucket of lava. Uh, oh, I forgot my bucket up there. And uh, let me put my thing back on so I can fly up here. And I can't get up here for some reason. Uh, oh, there we go. Just need to put it right there. And now I should be able to tap on it with my uh, staff. Ooh, uh, 
Wait, let me uh, switch it out to my Ignis, just to uh, Ignis, just to make sure I get a bit of a discount. Boom! Oh yeah, look at this, Infernal Furnace. Uh, nope. Uh, I don't. I can't actually right-click on it or anything like that. But what I can do is input stuff in the top here, like say. Uh, let me grab some cobblestone or something. No, I wonder if this stuff actually uh, works in it. Come on, give me something. There. I wonder if this stuff will actually smelt. Because if I can put it, put this stuff in here, I might be able to run a pipe straight from my extractor into here. Does it work? Does this work? It's the real question. Aha! It does! It works! Not only that, it created a little bit of experience when it smelted. Aha! It does! It works and it creates experience. So I could create another uh, brain in a jar, set it right here, maybe have a uh, either a hopper or a golem or something uh, right here, picking everything up and putting it into an inventory. So this could be another way to gather experience. Oh yeah. So instead of having this pipe running all the way over there, I can have it running on top of here with some other stuff. So there is a small problem with the infernal furnace in that it creates uh, flux in the, in the atmosphere, but you can mitigate that with some arcane bellows. So if I make some bellows and put them on the sides of the uh, furnace right here, I should be able to cut down any flux that's generated. I can also have a shelf of Ignis in jars to help speed it up and power it up a little bit more. So I'm going to head up there and see if I can make some bellows. And uh, hopefully, what do I need? just need wood, leather, air, and iron. Okay, I'm gonna make three of these real quick. Okay, here we go. Arcane bellows. One, two, three! Aha! Now, there is another item that I might be able to use because uh, of the way this infernal furnace works. You actually have to physically drop items into the top of it. So I could either use golems or I could use an item grate. Now an item grate allows you to uh, turn it on, turn it off, and have it on top of an inventory. And it will, if you have it open, it will allow you to drop items th on top of it, and it items will fall th will fall through it into as a physical item. And this could be this is basically what this was made for. This uh, item grate was made for the infernal furnace. Now the best part about it is it works with hoppers. So I can put a hopper on top of it along with a chest on top of that and pipe stuff into the chest, into the hopper, and into this item grate. Now alternatively, like I said, I could just uh, use... I think I already made one. Did I already make one? I thought I had one. Ah, here it is. Item great. Now, like I said before, you can use golems w along with uh, the infernal furnace to automatically drop items into it. But, there, since it's just an open pit like this, if the golem accidentally falls in there, they will burn to death and be smelted down. So that's something to worry about, and I think that's why this uh, item grate was created. So if I put it on top like this, I can stand on top of it, I can put golems running around, putting items into this, and uh, they won't fall in. And this thing also works with the redstone signal, and you can just right click on it to turn it on and turn it off. Like this, it is closed and nothing will fall into it. Just like that. But if I, uh, let's see, do I have anything I can smelt? Nope, nothing I can smelt. Let me see, ah, here we go. I'll grab some more gold. 
and toss this down top of it. And uh, right click, and it just falls in like that and gets smelted. Haha. -ha. So I think I can just put the RK bellows right here. Right here. And this is why I wanted it one away from the wall so I could actually access it. And just like that. And that should reduce the flux that this generates and keep it from uh, spewing out too much stuff here. So what I need to do now is to make another little gatherer golem or maybe a hungry chest because that could be good. So I do have the recipe for hungry chest. It's basically just the chest right here. You can set it down and it will automatically pick up anything that is dropped nearby. So I put it right here, it'll automatically gather. But I would have to I'd still have to hook it up to the uh, applied energetic system anyway. So um, I'll, it might be better just to have a little golem here picking everything up and putting it into this chest so it goes into the system. That way I won't have to run extra cables. And I can just have a jar here with a brain in a jar and have everything, have all that extra little bit of experience so I can uh, do some more enchants. So, that is the Infernal Furnace. Aha! So, uh, let's see. Is that everything I wanted to do today? I got my Infernal Furnace set up. I've got some arcane bellows. And uh, I got my mob spawner set up with some brains in a jar. So yeah, I've got a fair amount of stuff set up. Uh, I think I'll move this pipe over here along and put a hopper on top with a chest with this pipe going to it just to see if it works. I'll do that off camera and I might actually make another little golem like the little wood golem I have over there and uh, put it here as well as another brain in a jar since you've already seen me make all that stuff before. So uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next time but I'll probably get to work on this after I quit recording, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been Minecraft uh, Horizons Mod Pack on the Feed the Beast launcher. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.